Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on Pickup Money. So this is a really unique plugin which you can see in action in front of me. So it does a variety of things. You can drop money on the ground for your friend to pick up. You can kill mobs who will drop a random amount of money which you can set in the config file. And when you break certain blocks you will get some money as well. So uh, I've been murdering some chickens and if we go over here you will hear a sound when I pick up the random amount of cash. So we've got 42 cents, 21, what's that, 31 and 34 I think, 12, and if I break these blocks I will get more, so $2, $4, $3, it, it really depends, which is cool, but it can be random. If I check my balance, I now have over 11,000. So uh, what I'm going to do is show you the commands, there's only a few, there is pick up money, and we can either reload the config file once you've changed various prices and whatnot, or you can drop an amount of money, so you could drop a thousand pounds, you could drop one pound, um, or ten I should say, and there it goes, pop, um, or a hundred. So then, um, this is kind of risky because your friend could pick it up, or a random stranger could run in and just grab it and run away before you can kill him and get your money back. So uh, yeah, you would probably be careful when throwing money about on the floor, as in real life, <laughs> don't go doing that. But uh, we are going to go in the config file now and see what we can edit. So here we are in the pick up money folder and as you can see there are four YML files. So we're going to start at the bottom this time and look at the language.yml. And in here there's not really too much, there are the what, uh, seven different um, messages that pop up. You can obviously change the um, the colors and the way it's worded but I wouldn't really mess around with that and you could also change the money symbol if you wanted to. So uh, that's straightforward enough. Let's go into entities which obviously means mobs and in here we have uh, obviously chicken where you can get between 10 cents and 50 cents which is cool uh, and the chance is 100%. It is enabled and it will drop to one and two sort of coins or bags of money I don't know what you would call it. Uh, zombie, that obviously gets more because they're more dangerous, and player, that will you will get 10% of the player's money. Um, obviously the amount is 1 and the chance is 100. So um, what we're going to do, we are going to create a new mob which is going to be the creeper. I don't believe creepers are as dangerous anymore after 1.9, possibly. I could be wrong. So um, I will put the price a bit lower, so maybe 200 to 300, depending on your economy, and it's going to be 1, and the chance is going to be 10%, 20%. There we go. So you could add more mobs if you really wanted to, which is cool. And we're going to go into the blocks file. As you saw, I broke some gold blocks, and um, we got around 3 or $4 each time, um, and we got usually two of that. So um, the block itself is not actually dropped, which is interesting. So if we wanted to create a new one, very straightforward, you obviously copy and paste it down below, change the name, it's maybe, uh, oh, I don't know, name a block, pumpkin, leaves, leaves. So that would give between 10, well, one and two. The amount is going to be one, and the chance is going to be 10. I mean, leaves, they're not really worth too much. And drop block is going to be... You don't really get it anyway, so we're going to set that to false. And then if we go into the main config file, um, there is a few things in here. So we can enable entity drop, enable block drops. Obviously, we want that to be true. Um, you can change the spawner percent as well. And uh, you can obviously change the particles... Um, as well. Happy Villager. Um, not sure about that. I think a, a different one would be better. And the sound. So I hope you heard that while we were in game. If you didn't, it's just a normal no block sound as well. And it shows um, the amount of money. So when we dropped a thousand pounds on the floor, it was a gold block. When we dropped um, less than five dollars, it was a gold nugget. And about 10 is a gold ingot which is cool and then you can disable it in various worlds if you wanted it to so maybe disable it in creative and that's how you do that it's a great plugin uh, works really well 
If you have any problems, contact the dev, I'm sure he'd be happy to help you with it. Other than that, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.